Hello, it's James here. Paramount have asked me to build a life-size transformer that turns from a car into Bumblebee. This is Kyla, who's a prop builder, who's come to build some of the cosmetic parts like the car and transformer parts. Last time we built quite a lot of the mechanical assembly and we also made these car doors. But we've got quite a lot of work to do, so we better get on with it. It's time to do the next section, which is the big piece that goes like this. And I think it's gonna lift it up in one stage and then lift everything up on the other pneumatic stage. So we've got a piece to make and another pneumatic cylinder that fits in here. All the pieces fit in the CNC machine for this. Last time they were too big, so I had to make them by hand. But now we've got down to the more detailed stuff, that means we can cut it automatically. So this is our piece that moves, and we've got our front forks here, which is where the front wheels and wings rotate. Boop, boop, boop. So attached to the bit of Bumblebee's body we did last time, we've got two panels like this, which fit on here. And these are gonna be detachable because it won't fit under the ceiling and I won't be able to test it. And on there's that other pivot piece, that lifts all the way over. Right, I've got another cylinder here now, which is responsible for this stage that pulls the top of the car over before it stands up. Just need to put some end stops in in this direction between these bars, because at the moment that cylinder's resting on the axle, which isn't too good for it, but I should have enough power. Well, I hope everyone's happy with a mechanical elephant instead of a transformer. So this pivot point here is where the whole of the front of the wings and the wheels pivot as it stands up. So we need to build all of that onto here and that makes the front of the car and the wheel centers are about this far further ahead. So this piece rotates round and that holds the front wheels and the front wings also slide on this V-slot. Right, this is one of my upper arm pivot points. We're gonna put some 20 mil studding in there that runs all the way down and this fits on here and there's one on the other side and that makes the shoulder pivot. So this is part of my goal wing door assembly and so are these on each side, which is where the pivot is for the goal wing. So we're gonna have a piece like this, which has got this lovely shape on. So this gets pulled by a pulley into the mechanism down below as it transforms and that should pull the doors up. Right, I've got some bits of 2020 extrusion with 3D printed joints on, which we're gonna to use to make the next bit of the frame, which is articulated. So here's that bit of frame, which hinges like so to lift the back away so that the front can lift up. And that's gonna be something like the second or third stage of the transformation. So we just need to put the other side on and link the two together so it's not really wobbly. Right, so that's the framework for the back of the car all the way down to the boot here. And this piece now hinges all the way back and it should miss the back entirely. And that's the stage that happens before the other stage comes up onto the top and the doors go wing. Right, we've got the frame at the back. So Kyle is using that to fit the foam panels too. We've got a couple of pins in there to try and position the foam. And then that's gonna make the boot shape.
Right, we've got some 3D printed parts which are going to make up the arm joints and they're all attached together with 2020 extrusion and that should make up the shoulder and the elbow where the arms fold out. So the arms mounted on the arm pivot points we put on earlier, this is the elbow, so this is going to swing out around here and then the elbow will eventually come down when the robot stands up. So this is the inside of the arm on the front and the outside here is on the back of the arm. So we've got lots of space for cosmetics between these two, but not so much on the outside. So you'll notice there's a pulley here and there's another pulley here and we can mount a motor on each stage which will allow the arms to operate. Right, around the front of the car again, so as well as this swiveling over as the transformer stands up, we need to make a thing that makes the wings slide in and out. So they need to get narrower so that they basically make Bumblebee's chest. So I've got these sliding things with little V wheels on there. We've got one on the top and one on the bottom. We need to link those together and then we need to motion link that so the wheel also pivots outwards as the wings slide inwards. So I need to link these two things together stick them on and try and build the rest of the mechanism. So we've got two of them now that slide, and now we need to do a mechanical linkage to swivel the wheels out. Right, so now we've got this piece here, which is the new wheel sensor, so that will go on here, and we've got a template for that wheel to be made, which is part of the frame, so that's going to be sort of a fake front wheel that sits there. And then, as this slides out, this thing has to slide in, so we've got that sort of motion, which shouldn't be hard, too hard to work out, because that can pull this in on a lever. Uh, but that has to happen as the whole thing rotates round, so that's going to be a bit harder to do, but hopefully we can do it all with one motor. So now I've added another linkage here, which is a crank, so as this moves, it pulls in this part, and that seems to rotate quite nicely. And all these legs are adjustable, obviously I can slide these up on the 2020, and this is a piece of studding so I can adjust all the leverage angles, but that seems pretty well in the right place to get that wheel pivot flat, and to get the wing right out, and when the wing's in, this goes back to roughly the right angle. Right, we've had to relocate everything to a mysterious silver line space age location, because the machine is now too big to fit in the house. We're getting there with the body panels. The only piece of the car that's not part of the transformation is the bonnet, which has to be ejected and thrown away, and that's because it's absolutely huge and there's nowhere to put it. In the movie, it looks like it folds up into about eight pieces and magically disappears into Bumblebee's chest, but um, that's going to be a bit tricky to do. So we're going to make a bonnet ejector. So we're going to make some sliding rails out of a piece of 2020 extrusion, a piece of box section which handily fits on the 2020 extrusion. We're going to have two of those mounted on the front forks here, angled up slightly so the bonnet sits down on them and then we'll have some sort of pneumatic air cannon that pushes the bonnet off like that and ejects it. There'll be more on that next time. So it looks like we've made a car, we've got a few more panels to do and quite a lot more painting to do and we're going to dirty it all down so it looks like a beetle found on a scrap heap just like in the movie. Well that happened at the end so we get a consistent look and feel. But that's all for now. So next time I'll be doing loads of electronics, putting motors in and doing loads of plumbing. And I'll be making transformer parts. So thanks to Paramount for making it possible to build Bumblebee, the real transformer. Don't forget to come back next week to see the last build video. Alright, that's all for now.